Hi, this is Dr. Girish here. I am an orthodontist by profession. I specialize in invisible braces, accelerated orthodontics and TMJ treatments. We also do a lot of sleep apnea remedies. Currently, the treatments available for TMJ patients, which we specialize in, are called as neuromuscular splints or neuromuscular orthodontics. So we do something called a TMJ treatment where a proper diagnosis is done with a TENS machine. TENS meaning transcutaneous electric neural stimulation. So we stimulate the muscles, which is the main culprit in the TMJ patients. Whenever there's a muscular imbalance, especially the masseter and the temporalis, there is a trigger for the TMJ to happen. So unless we cure this and we relax the muscles, we cannot do. The first step is involving the TENS, T-E-N-S, which is, like I mentioned, uh, electric stimulation of the nerves. So mainly the masseter, the neck and the temporalis muscles are stimulated by small electric pulses bilaterally. So doing the TENS, then we relate the position of the jaw to first of all relax the muscles and then record the jaw position onto the system. So we get to the precise millimeter, the position of the jaw where the muscles are going to take the jaw to that correct position. So we record this position, we get a accurate reading where the jaw wants to be and where it has to be for that patient. If not, we cannot get the correct vertical dimension to make the splint. Once the diagnosis is done, we record the bite. It's again a very important procedure. This bite, what we get a VD or a vertical displacement. It could be 5mm, 6mm or 4mm depending on the patient's TMJ problem. Is then sent to a lab who specialized in making this orthotics. It is not like the conventional splints, it is an orthotic. Okay, so orthotics are specialized appliances used to place in the patient's mouth on which the patient chews, does all his activities, sleeps with that and it has to be worn 24-7. It is not like the conventional splints that we give. It is designed to displace the mandible to a better position in which the muscles are relaxed. So once all the orthotics are done, the patient then goes to a phase 2. So it could take around 4-6 to six months where the patient has to go to the phase 2. The phase 2 involves doing something called a neuromuscular orthodontics or a, a complete lower rehabilitation where he can go for crowns, where he can go for orthodontics depending on what he chooses. So it is a completely uh, specialized treatment for TMJ disorder which we specialize in.